Hey guys, it's Z here back with another tutorial and I hope you all are doing great. So guys, as you saw the preview and a lot of you guys have been asking me for this tutorial about my compositing. So here I am today. Today I'm going to teach you how to make these two type of composition, one with color manga and one without color. So without wasting any time, let's begin. So before we start the tutorial, I would like to mention that you guys will need some materials like overlays, some light leaks, some particles and you know, stuff like that. So I'll post them on my Discord server. So make sure to join it from the link in the description. And now we'll start the tutorial. So first of all, just add the background and then like make it fit your ratio, whatever you are using. I use the ratio, like a custom ratio. It's 930 by 1080. So you can just adjust it from the settings too. It all depends upon you. You can use any type of ratio. Then after adding the background, you will need to add the animation. So just add the animation and then the things that I do here to make it more smooth is like I go to speed, then I change the speed to 0 0.85. Then I just turn on the smooth slow-mo and then click on optical flow and then wait for it to be applied and it just becomes smooth. So that's basically how I make the animation smooth. And then after this, just split the parts where you want the animation to be. And then you need to remove its background from the chroma key. Just go there, select the green color and then just remove it and then go to adjustment and then go to HSL. Now change the saturation to minus 50 of whatever color there is in the background. All right, so after doing all of this, next what you need to do is just copy paste this animation. Now you need to add a white screen behind this animation because like we'll make the animation completely white. So just do this and now click back on the animation. Now you have to remove the darkest color on the animation, which is obviously the black. So just select that then go back to HSL and change the saturation back to zero. Now what you need to do is adjust this white screen that it should cover the whole character because we want the character to be white. And also make sure that whenever you're adjusting this white PNG that it should not go out of the green screen because that will look bad, like it won't get removed. So you need to keep it within the green screen just like this. And then you need to compound clip this. Now what you need to do is put it above the main animation then go to remove BG and select the green color, then just remove it, then go to adjustment and then go to basic, just change the saturation to minus 50. And also you can just change the contrast and exposure to 50, 50. Like if the animation is too damn like blacks, so you should try to do that too. That will fix it. Now you have to go to curves and then make the white graph go up so that it should become white. And after this, you need to copy paste the lower animation above this and then make it black from the curves. Just drag all the curves down. Now you need to add an effect on this animation, like the black one, uh, add an effect called blur on it. And then you need to adjust it down or like wherever you want the shading to be, wherever that white part is, there will be the shading there, the inner globe. Now, after this, you need to compound clip both of these. And now you have to go to effects and search an effect called glow 2. Now put it above this compound clip. Now make both of the values 100. Paste it one more time on this and there you have it. Now you can just change its color from the curves to whatever you want. And then just go to basic and change the blend mode to screen. And guys, there you have it. You can just make this inner glow in CapCut too. It's just easy. You just need to have, you just need to use some of your brain. It's, it was easy. And thanks to Shady, a huge shout out to Shady that I watched his counter light tutorial and then I got an idea that we can do inner glow. He was like removing the blur, but I just added the blur and then adjusted it and it became the inner glow. So a huge shout out to Shady. Because of him, I was able to make this glow. All right, guys, so now moving on to the tutorial. Next, what you guys need to do is add some overlays, some particles, some dust, and some other stuff. So basically, I'll upload them on my Discord server, and it all depends upon you now. Like, you need to choose some overlays and light leaks which should match your clip. So here, what I did is added some particles. Then I changed the duration, like I cut it from another part, and then just put it above, just duplicated it, and then change the color of one of the particles to like a little bit golden to make it fit the compositing. So that's what I did.
Next, what I need to do here is add some light leaks. So this one was looking good. So I added this too. And you can just add multiple light leaks. I was checking a lot of light leaks here. Like if any other one looks good, I added that too. So basically, it just all depends upon you and the materials you have. So you have to make them match it. Like even if you have it in another color, you can just compound flip it and then change the saturation to minus 50 and then just go to curves and then you can just change its color too. So basically what I'm trying to say here is like the compositing depends upon you and your creativity. I cannot explain the things that I do here. I'll just show you like this is how I do them and I'll give you some tips like I do this or that. So just keep watching. And after doing some particles and light leaks, what I do, the main thing here is that I add some blur too in the background. So as you can see, like I added a blur effect. And then what I did is like I went to mask, then click on circle and then just inversed it. Now I made it a little bit big and I gave it a little bit further so that it should blend like the borders will be blurred and the center will be like clear. So that's what I do here. And also one more thing that I do here is that I add a black screen. Then what I do next is that I make it overly and then I have to mask it and like you can just do it another way and then just feather it like you can just use the circle mask or the split and then you can just put it anywhere where you think like the compositing is looking better. Sometimes I put it behind the character and then I just compound clip all of the materials that I did here because like it becomes too glowy obviously. So after this that what I do is like I add another one and then just make it circle and then inverse it then give it mask and there you have it i make it overlay as you can see like it's looking much better now so as i said before it all depends upon you and your creativity and also the materials you have like if you have much better materials you can do much better compositing with it and also like you have brain so just use it you have your editing app here tap cut you can just do anything with it like not anything but like you can get up to my level too like if you try the main thing is that you should try so this is how i do the color compositing now we'll get to the other one all right guys now for this non-colored manga compositing you just need to do the same things there is one additional thing that you have to do so i'll just tell everything again in like a fast forward manner so first of all just add the background then the animation remove the background then hsl like just do the same things as you did before then you need to make it white like the way we did before. I'll just fast forward it so you guys can just see like what I did. And then again, like just copy paste it, then make it black, give it blur, and then just adjust it, compound clip again, give it glow and everything. Just repeat the same process. Then go to curves and then change the curve to whatever you want. Now, after you have given the glow, what you need to do is that like you have to make it red or like whatever color you just did there. So first of all, you will need to make a PNG. I'll show you how to do it. Just add a white PNG, then make it to the color that you want. Now you have to copy paste it and then change the color to like a little bit, like a little bit less contrast and then one with a little bit darker. So just you have to mask it and then adjust it randomly on the screen and then you have to take a screenshot of it. And then just put it above all of this and then just make it overlay or just make it soft light. So that's just basically it. That's how I do the compositing of non-colored manga animations. So you have to do the same process now like for the light leaks and the overlays it just completely depends upon a person like their creativity level should be decent to do this type of compositing all right guys now i'll just fast forward everything here so you guys can see what i did and the last thing i want to say before i go is that you have your brain you got the materials you see like how i do them you have your editing app just use your brain and then you can just make a good compositing just give it a try and give it some time if you give it more time it will get better and better so just keep editing okay so see you in another tutorial i'll just go for now bye bye